Hey guys, this is kind of a, well, it's about a 99% reveal. Um, there's just a little touching up here to do on this, but this is the VK3002 uh, H, or no, I'm sorry, M. M? Yeah. But anyway, um, it's uh, by uh, a model by uh, Amusing Hobby, and they make an excellent kit. Um, so, this is about it. I may have just overweathered it a date, but well, that's how you learn, right? Anyway, um, this is uh, about ready to go to uh, to BuffCon in about uh, it's about a week and a half, <clears throat> two weeks, and uh, I didn't make it to Amps this year financial considerations etc but um, I really like some of the things like uh, some of the tracks got to be set down just a little bit better they're plastic tracks uh, they come with a kit and they're kind of like a, uh, a pin and link assembly so that uh, they're, they're, they're pretty fragile when they're together um, so anyway, um, just want to show this baby off a little bit to you guys. Uh, let's see, kind of getting into the shadows a little bit here. Again, this was a, uh, a tank that really never went into production. It lost out to the Panther as far as the Germans were concerned, or the German hierarchy. Uh, I think they made a mistake. <laughs> but the uh, Battle of Curse kind of proved that out. The Panther was just not ready for prime time, and this thing probably would have been. And it probably would have made a pretty good showing of itself. But um, and again, uh, maybe it's a good thing the Nazis lost. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, uh, they did make cool vehicles though, okay? You gotta give them that. And uh, that's about it, guys. So uh, I'll see you again uh, next time. When I Hopefully when I get another one done. I think it's going to be kind of a race to the finish here, where it's going to be the Leopard, the looks, whatever it is, the, um, the Leopard 1 by Heller. Or, I'd say the Leopard 1 by Heller, that'll probably be the one that'll finish next. And then there's a, a Panther 2 that's uh, in paint also. Um, okay guys, see ya, bye.